Hello, hello, English Tech Portal Games, we are back from Assen um, and this is 100 vlogs for 100 days uh, trying to entertain you, educate you and provide you some value on YouTube and today we are discussing pitching prototypes. This Assen uh, and my development team had a ton of meetings with uh, young designers who were pitching uh, uh, prototypes and uh, their new games, their new designs uh, to us. I was not involved, my development team uh, had all these meetings, but of course I saw a couple of these, uh, uh, these pitches uh, running around and doing my stuff uh, at Essen. So I came back and when I was thinking about the topic for today's video, I thought I will give you some tips, I will give you some uh, ideas how to pitch your games better. So here we are. First of all, you have to... And first of all, First, 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 before first, zero of all. Uh, there are different uh, approaches, different strategies for online pitch, if you are reaching a publisher uh, through email, and different strategies if you are pitching uh, at the convention. Uh, we are discussing today the pitch at the convention because this is the, uh, the conclusions I had after the past essence. So first of all, you have to understand that when you are pitching the game, you are like seventh in a row, you are like eighth in the row. The person who is getting all these pitches, he's doing it for the whole day. And now imagine yourself, you can make an experiment at home, that you are listening to the rules of one game and then you are not playing it, you are listening to the rules of the next game and you are not playing it, then you are listening to the rules of the next game and the next game and then when they are your friends are explaining the rules for the Le Havre, which is the eighth rule set of this day. You have no clue what you are listening to. And it's too much information, you are tired, you have no clue what's going on, and your focus is going lower and lower and lower. So the first message for you, first tip for you, understand that the person who you pitch to is already tired, he or she already listened to many, many pitches, and you have to give your best and be on point be with the best sales pitches possible because he doesn't or she doesn't want to listen another full gameplay, another full rule set. What I saw here at Essen, many of you young designers were setting up the whole game on, the, on in our office and explaining the whole rules and sometimes when wanted to play the game. This is sales pitch. You come, you say the best fragments of your game, why it is unique, why it is interesting to publish, why it is uh, Good, for, good fit for this publisher, and don't explain the whole rules because this person it is too much for, for him or, or her. If we discuss, let me pitch you the Dune. Can we pitch you a Dune? Dune story driven game. So, for all of you who love role playing games, for all of you who love narration games, this is a story driven game. It's uh, with scenario based, and this scenario is written by professional writers. So, this is like playing role playing game session but the scenario written by the best possible writer, by the professional writer. So, the great, great story. And on top of that, the story takes place a few months after the things described in the movie. So, if you was in the movie, if you were in the theater, if you watch this amazing epic uh, Dune movie, you go back home, you invite your friends and you play this follow-up story that tells you what's next in the world of Dune. These are the two main focus points for the game. Story driven, scenario written by professional writer, amazing deep uh, story, and it takes place uh, right after the film described in the movie. And we don't discuss that it's based on detective, that you have to read the things, that there's a character development, these are the follow up. But to pick the interest of the person, you have to have like, poof, poof, and then you get the focus. The next thing uh, that you need to remember is that uh, at the convention, the environment, the conditions are not perfect. There is noise, there is a small table, there are people running all around. So it is impossible for you to set up the whole game. So once again, don't try to set up the whole game. Don't try to convince somebody to play the game. Just show the key points. So you might have just PDF file with that. This is how the board looks like. This is how the tokens looks like. This is how the game works. Go to the point, go to the focus. And one more advice, if you are shy, if you are an introvert, if you don't feel comfortable in the stress situation, and it is for sure stress situation to pitch your game, don't do it. Ask your friend to do it. If your English is not the best, if you don't feel comfortable speaking in English, don't do it. Ask your friend. When we are 
getting pictures, we don't double check ID of the person if he really is designer. Like we don't care. We just want to hear about the game and to, we want to hear the game the best possible interesting way. So if you feel that you are not the best salesperson, ask your friend to come with you to Essen, to come with you to Gen Con, to come to you with you to the UK Game Expo and let them do the pitch. First of course teach them how the game plays, teach them what's interesting in the game and they'll tell them, hey please can you go to the meeting with the the publisher and do your best with the fluent English, with the energy, with this extrovert smile on the face and the confidence in the world because this is what is needed. We had uh, three days of pitches, pitches, pitches and this is all blur after these 20 plus uh, pitches. There will be one or two that stand out. The standout is the case. If your game has a one big super interesting element, some uh, thing that is crucial for the game, and you feel like maybe the other things are not that best yet, that you need to develop them, you need to give uh, a more testing to them, focus on this one thing. I had, uh, I took one pitch uh, at the show uh, from the designer, and uh, and it was this one element of the game, the one part of the making that was super interesting, and uh, he told me very honestly, like. This is the key, this is the clue, this is the, the best part of the game and the rest is not, not, not working yet, I need to develop it. And I remember this game, I remember this prototype, uh, I will follow up in, in the email asking for the rule set and I know that the game is not working yet, but I remember this one piece of mechanism that was super super smart and I want to follow up, I want to be in touch with this designer to see how he is working on this game. So, once again, essence of the game, what's the best interesting part of the game, why it is unique, why the publisher should publish it, what's most interesting. And not playing the game, not explaining all the rules because it's too much. That was my, me trying to help you uh, do a sales pitches of your games. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you were doing pitches, uh, let us know about your feedback, about your experience. Uh, if you feel that you did a great pitch or if you were not doing that. Mm, uh, and if you want uh, more, videos like that, please what? Please thumbs, please subscribe, please uh, share, please comment, please help us grow the channel and maybe in a few days or weeks I will discuss uh, how to pitch the game uh, online. Re? See? 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 One more thing, how to reach publishers? Uh, before the show, before the Essen, send email to the main email address of the publisher telling them I'm the designer, I'm going to this show, can I meet with somebody from the team to show my game. This is how it works, it's super simple, just send an email and it will hopefully um, be forwarded to the right person. Don't do it the last moment, last moment of pitches, uh, let me explain why. So <clears throat> our dev team had this, all these uh, meetings scheduled for the whole day, they had a couple of uh, small windows of break for the lab, lunch or, or at least visiting some of the, from the SN. And then you, random young designer, coming to the booth and asking them, you have no meeting schedule, but you want to meet, and if there's a window, and my dad says, okay, I have a few minutes open. You sit with them, but he's already not happy, because that was his lunch break. It was his free moment after these five hours of listening to the, to the pitches. So you are starting your most important part of the essence with the person who is not very happy because it was his only free window of the day. So do schedules before S and not the last moment. The last moment pitches, you have to be super, super lucky to have amazing, amazing game to get attention because this person that is listening to you is thinking about doner kebab or hamburger or just fries. Take care. Thank you for today. Let me know what you think about this video and see you tomorrow.